Hi, it's Paul and Harry from Trekit, and today we're up on Hergis Ridge above Kington down there. There's some wonderful panoramas. See the Malvern Hills over there? Black Mountains are there behind Harry, and we've got the Shropshire Hills rolling away into the distance. Quite a lovely spot, uh, if not a little chilly. It's about three or four degrees up here. Harry and I have been up here for most of the afternoon and it's quite chilly, hence the gloves and the hat. And we're here today to talk to you about the Montane Icarus jacket. The Icarus jacket is uh, your kind of your archetypal, super lightweight, really packable, yet warm synthetic insulated jacket. It's just one of those pieces that everybody should have in their outdoor wardrobe. It's massively versatile and uh, yeah, it's just, just, just the kind of thing that everybody should have. So in the video, I'll talk you through what it's made from, what it's filled with, what its features are and, uh, and how it fits. So stay tuned right to the end to get all the information you need to know everything about the Montane Icarus jacket. Okay, so before I start prattling on about all the techie stuff, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you hit the little bell icon, you'll get notifications as soon as we post any new videos. Okay, the Montane Icarus jacket, what is it? Well, it is, it's lightweight, it's warm, it's highly weather resistant, it's squashable and packable, it's massively versatile, uh, it's really comfortable, it's just one of those pieces, and I'm probably going to repeat myself over and over and over through this video, but I just need to hammer home the point that these kind of jackets, and this one in particular, are massively versatile and it's the sort of thing everybody should own. They've kind of surpassed uh, fleeces, if you like. Uh, everyone used to wear, back in the day, uh, big chunky fleeces. Uh, but nowadays, these lightweight synthetic insulated jackets have taken over and given us so much more in terms of weather protection and warmth and insulation and low weight and minimal bulk. It's the kind of thing that you could use for just about any outdoor activity from bimbling around the fields with your dogs to stretching up Five Finger Gully on, the, uh, on Ben Nevis. So it's, it's, it'll work for just about anything and work throughout the whole layering system. Massively, massively versatile. What's it made of? What is the Montane Icarus jacket made of? Well, let's start with the stuff that's keeping us warm. I mean, after all, that's why you're interested in this jacket, because you're looking for something warm. Uh, so this uses uh, Primaloft's Thermo Plume and the clue is in the words. They're sneaky, these manufacturers, aren't they? Well, they're not sneaky, actually. They're pretty obvious. Thermo plume. Thermo meaning warm, plume as in plumage. So it's a synthetic version of natural down. So uh, we all know that down is uh, super lightweight, little clusters of filaments of the feathers and the down that trap air, keep you warm. And that's exactly what Primaloft have sought to emulate with their thermo plume insulation. So you get 180 grams of the stuff in this jacket and it's treated much in the same way as down is treated when it's used to insulate jackets. So it's trapped inside baffles, it's blown into the baffles much of the same way that natural down is and there it sits and its little filaments and little fibres fluff up, loft up like down and create warmth. They trap all the warm air that you're creating inside to keep you warm. But unlike down, it will still keep you warm even if it's wet. So if I was particularly clumsy and I fell in a river wearing this jacket, you know, stranger things have happened, uh, I'd be able to get out, wring the jacket out, wring out the excess water, pop it back on, and it would still keep me warm. It, the filling is so good, it just doesn't absorb moisture. And that's the beauty of synthetic fillings over natural down. And because uh, it's mimicking, sorry, I lost for words there. Because it is mimicking down, it's just as compressible, it's just as lightweight, feels really nice on. I'd be hard pressed to tell, if I didn't know, I'd be hard pressed to tell that this was a synthetic insulated jacket. So it's got that lovely kind of 
warm, cosy, sort of cloud, soft, fluffy, lovely, jubbly feeling about it. So that's what they've used to insulate the jacket, 180 grams of Primaloft Thermo Plume Synthetic Insulation. And then on the outside of the jacket, this rather fetching green colour that you can see, this is the Pertex Quantum Eco fabric. And again, as the name would hint, this uses uh, an element of recycled fabric. So it's got, uh, you know, it's obviously got a great environmental and sustainable story there. It's a densely woven nylon that keeps out the wind and a lot of the rain, but allows good breathability and keeps all of that filling in place inside these little micro baffles. So the fabrics are inner and the outer fabrics are pulled together and stitched to create little tubes, which is where the filling is blown into. So the fabric itself is tough, water resistant, windproof, good breathability uh, and good durability as well. So if you're using this on its own on the outside, it'll withstand, you know, kind of just abrasion and wear and tear from normal sort of outdoor activities. And then on the inside, Montaigne have used their own Peak recycled, again, fabric, P-E-A-Q, they call that, Peak. So that's a, a really lightweight nylon that's got great breathability, but it's a very sheer, smooth fabric that so glides over layers so it doesn't grab and stick and pull, making it feel uncomfortable. It feels great over the top of other layers. And again, just provides that comfort and also helps with the breathability to pump all that warm air through into the filling and then out to regulate your temperature. Okay, so what are the features? Well, Harry and I were joking, I sort of said to Harry, what are the features? And he sort of shrugged. There are, there are some features, you know, but it's, it's designed to be super lightweight. It's designed to pack down small when you're not using it. And it's just designed to, to, to work without any uh, sort of extraneous bells and whistles. So right up at the top, you get an under helmet hood. So it won't fit over the top of a climbing helmet, but it will certainly fit underneath. So it's a, what we call a scuba hood, if you like. Close fitting insulated hood with a simple uh, elastic binding around the outside. No adjustment there at all, just literally snug fitting over your head to act as extra insulation. You get a reverse coil uh, front zip with a little wind sort of stand to pluck it behind there, a little bit of insulation in there as well, just stop those cold drafts coming through the front of the jacket. The arms are pre-shaped and articulated, so there's plenty of movement. You can lift up here. There's a little bit of hem lift, but you know, this isn't really a kind of jacket that's aimed at super technical kind of alpine climbing, but it's still got plenty of movement in those pre-articulated arms. You get three external pockets, two hand pockets either side, and then a little neat chest pocket with a little sort of almost hidden zip up on the chest there. Great place to stash your mobile phone, keep it nice and warm. And then the hand pockets, well, as the name implies, you can stick your hands in them, keep them warm. Uh, not massive. You certainly wouldn't get uh, an OS map in there, but you get your, get your gloves and a bobble hat or something in there. Just again, keeping it all minimal, keeping the pack size super small, keeping the weight right down to a minimum. And then down the bottom, you get uh, a part elasticated hem. It feels really good, actually. I was, I was kind of looking around for draw cords, but there are no draw cords. So the front of the hem, kind of round to your hips, is uh, unelasticated. And then around the back, boop, 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 that's elasticated. And it just fits nice and snug around your bum and feels really comfortable. And they've used the same kind of elastication on the cuffs. Uh, and they've used, it, they've used the, the elastication inboard. So the elastic is slightly inside. So the, over, the insulation kind of rolls over the top of the elastic just to make sure that that vital area of warmth around your wrist is kept nice and warm. So minimal feature list, three pockets, some bits of elastic and a hood, basically. Uh, but yeah, it feels great. It doesn't feel bulky. The use of the lightweight zips really does give you that feeling of this jacket is kind of super minimalist, super lightweight, and it's going to pack down small. But actually, it's packing a lot of heat. You know, it is cold up here. You can see it's not sunny. It's, it's definitely single figures temperature. Uh, I've been stood up around here filming with Harry for a couple of hours now, pop this jacket on and it's warm. It's really working well. That thermoplume insulation 
is really working very, very well. Well done, Montaigne. Nice one. Okay, so how does this lovely Icarus jacket fit? Well, to be honest, it fits me pretty well. I'm uh, six foot three, I've got a 42 inch chest, 34 inch waist, and I weigh about 13 and a half stone, so I'm a kind of slim, average-ish kind of build. And this large is a good fit. I wouldn't say it was an excellent fit, it's a good fit. Uh, if anything, there's just a little bit of snugness around the shoulders. I don't know if Harry can pick that up on the video. A little bit of tightness, but you've got to ask yourself, how often do you walk around doing that? Not very often. Uh, so for generally, it fits me well. It's quite a slim, uh, tapered fit, so it's nice and snug in around my hips, uh, widening out through the chest and the shoulders. But like I said, if you were a bit bulkier than me, you might want to uh, think about going up a size. But um, I've just got a, a Sartoro base layer under here. I've got an ME switch jacket. So not big, heavy layers, uh, but just enough uh, for kind of what I would normally wear on a, on a day like this, the temperatures like this in an environment like this. So kind of athletic, slim-ish fit. The previous video that we were filming was for the prism jacket and I did notice that there was a significant difference in the fit. The prism is roomier uh, and well it's just roomier, it's definitely got more space inside of it so if you are a little bit bulkier than me and you want a jacket that is uh, offering similar performance have a look at the prism you'll find that the fit is a little looser but having said that I did notice that this is warmer because it's closer fitting. This is a really toasty warm jacket so yeah if you're if you if your stats match mine you'll be fine if you're a little bit bulkier you might want to size up a bit okay let's talk about layering with the montane icarus jacket as we all know layering is not a precise science so i can just give you some advice really and i think given the the, the fit and the feel of this jacket it's the kind of thing that's going to be worn most uh, on its own over a couple of lightweight layers. Like I said, I've just got a, an ME switch and a, a, a Arcteryx Satoro base layer under here. And I'd be quite happy walking up on here, just this as an outer jacket. It's keeping the wind off. It'll keep light showers off. Uh, it works well as a standalone outer jacket. It also worked brilliantly as a mid layer in really cold conditions. So if I popped a shell over the top of here, if it was really blowing, really tipping it down with rain and really cold and horrible, then this would work really well as a mid layer. Uh, there's also the opportunity to use this maybe as an over layering piece, but given that the fit is uh, a little on the slimmer, a little bit more athletic side, then I would struggle. Again, I'd have a look at the prism if that was uh, a kind of a need that I, that I wanted to put the jacket to. So primarily outer uh, and then a mid layer, perfect. So that's it, the Montaigne Icarus jacket. I've been really impressed. It's lovely and warm. It's really lightweight. It packs down teeny tiny. It's kind of the, 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 the perfect do everything, suitable for everything outdoor jacket. Equally at home on the high street as it is in the mountains. This would make a great kind of just everyday winter coat just for mooching about town in that kind of thing. Uh, and uh, it's the sort of thing that everybody who ventures outdoors should have in their pack or on their back. Oh, I might have, to, might have to patent that as a catchphrase, Harry. In your pack or on your back. Yeah, anyway, that's thrown me right off script. So yeah, that's it. That's the, uh, the lovely Montane Icarus jacket. Lightweight, breathable, warm, weather resistant, versatile, lovely, nice. Come and have a look. It's a really nice piece of kit. So thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, as usual, pop them in the section below. Harry and I will endeavour to answer. Uh, yeah, we'll just endeavour to answer them three. Yeah, I, I think that's it, really. So, yeah, thanks again for watching. See you again soon. Toodaloo.